Up to country karate. This is the country. This is karate. I'm Maze, your host. All right, so reach, boxing reach. They say to measure from the tip of one uh, hand to the other tip of the other hand, which to me makes absolutely no sense. Why would you measure from tip to tip? Why not from a fighting stance? And why not close your fist? If you're gonna measure, measure with closed fist, from closed fist to closed fist, not from tip to tip. Tip to tip makes no sense. Also, from a closed fist, my right closed fist facing 12 o'clock, from a closed fist to my uh, socket, shoulder socket, is 24 and a half inches. Okay? If, if I go towards 3 o'clock, it's 25 inches. I gain half an inch. That's not included in the ratio of your boxing reach, your UFC, MMA, traditional karate, non-traditional karate. All martial arts follows the boxing reach of measuring from tip to tip. Also, if I'm in a, if I'm in a fighting stance, and a left foot forward, left neutral ball, and I throw a punch, and I rotate into a, into a forward ball, I've got that 24 and a half inches. If I get onto the ball of my foot, I just gain another three to five inches, okay? If I follow through, I even gain more length. So, uh, I have not yet figured out why they measure from tip to tip, which is why there's going to be a part two of this with further research. I'll have more information to uh, gather to present to you guys. So what do you guys think in the comments down below? Do you guys think it should be from tip to tip? Do you guys think it should be from the edge of your fist to your socket of your shoulder? Where should you be measuring your reach? Because from tip to tip, I'm 67 inches. That's five foot seven. Google says that's basically your body length. I'm five eight, 67 inches is five seven. So Google's got it pretty close. In the comments, what do you guys think? How should the reach should be should be determined? What is the correct ratio to determine your arm reach? Because from here, and I do a jab, if I rotate and I throw it in my shoulder, I even get another four to six inches from that 24 and a half inch facing 12. But if I turn just to the right of me at three o'clock, I gain another half inch. I'm at 25 inches. Did a lot of measuring for my, for my body today to figure out how to put this video together. And it, just blows my mind that all martial arts and sports fighting measures boxing from tip to tip. Close those fists, because that's how you fight. Measure from fist to fist. Also, they actually include your chest. And they have the measuring tape going from your chest. There's some people with big, huge chest or a lot of fat. So all that fat in that chest is also being included, which I don't think it should be. But if it is going to be included, why not take the tape measure and go behind your back? Your back is going to be flatter than uh, your chest, so measure your back. But from tip to tip, including my back, 67 inches, which is five foot seven. That I don't think is accurate. So what do you guys think is the more better way and the more accurate way to determine your reach when it comes to fighting? And you also have to put into the fact that Thai boxers, they have their hands up like this. And you got karate guys, and then you got, you know, uh, Thai boxer guys, they usually have their hands a little uh, lower. Uh, it, it, it all depends on Muay Thai, Thai boxing, kickboxing, uh, traditional karate, non-traditional martial arts. Uh, Aikido usually starts with their hands down, and then they, you know, they control the body. You all these, uh, different maneuvers, uh, traps, locks, holds, 
and get the person down. So how would you how would you determine determine an Aikido's uh, reach? Alright, tell me what you guys think in the comments down below. I will see you lovely people in the next video.